whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots from the west. Oh, I think, dude. Are we alone in the universe? Is U.S. government hiding aliens? Join us on a journey beyond the stars as we explore classified missions, Pentagon investigations, and the ever-persistent quest for answers. It's November 14, 2004, 100 miles outside the coast of San Diego, California during a routine reconnaissance mission, U.S. Navy encounters a perplexing sight. A mysterious object defies the laws of physics, flying across the sky with impossible speed and agility. The mysterious craft left no trace, vanishing as abruptly as it appeared. The military report from that day states, a fleet of objects descending in from 60,000 down to 50 feet in a matter of seconds. Very high velocities. The undergoing enigma, debunking the UAP, UFOs. For over half a century, the skies have held a mysterious charm, appealing to the imaginations of both civilians and military personnel alike. UFO sightings, often rejected as the stuff of science fiction, have ignited numerous investigations and debates. What began as fleeting glimpses of unexplained phenomena have evolved into a continued inquiry that refuses to be grounded. From the infamous Project Blue Book to recent Pentagon revelations, the quest to understand UFOs continues to stir both curiosity and controversy. The Birth of UFO Investigations, Project Blue Book. In 1947, the U.S. Air Force launched Project Blue Book, a detailed effort to catalog and investigate UFO sightings. Over the next two decades, this initiative documented 12,618 reports, ranging from mysterious lights in the sky to radar anomalies. The sheer volume of sightings, reported by credible sources such as pilots and astronomers, pointed out the necessity of serious probes. The Condon Report Controversy in 1969, Project Blue Books was abruptly ended triggered by the Condon Report, a study conducted by the University of Colorado. The report's assertion that UFOs did not warrant further scientific investigation was met with suspicion by many. Edward Condon stated in the report, Our general conclusion is that nothing has come from the study of UFOs in the past 21 years that has added to scientific knowledge. Harry Reid and the birth of AATIP the quiet murmur of UFO interest grew louder in 1995 when Senator Harry Reid, along with businessman Robert Bigelow, took significant steps to rekindle scientific inquiry. The formation of the National Institute for Discovery Science and later the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, AATIP, in 2007, signaled a renewed governmental interest. Backed by Reid, AATF aimed to investigate modern sightings and understand potential threats. This period saw a shift from dismissive skepticism to cautious curiosity. The 2004 Nimitz encounter, a turning point. One of the most compelling incidents occurred in 2004 off the coast of San Diego. Navy pilots encountered an unusual craft that defied common explanation. The craft captured on video exhibited extraordinary flight capabilities. Commander David Fravor's description, stating the object outran our F-18s, reignited public and governmental interest in UFO phenomena. This encounter stressed the potential significance of these sightings and the need for serious scientific scrutiny. The 2017 Leaks and Public Disclosure. In December 2017, the New York Times exposed the existence of AA tip bringing UFO investigations into the public eye. The revelation that the Pentagon had continued to study these phenomena ignited widespread interest. Luis Elizondo, former head of AA TIP, highlighted ongoing informal investigations, challenging the notion that the government had ended its investigation. This transparency marked a significant shift, encouraging broader discourse on the topic. Scientific engagement NASA and beyond. By 2020, notable scientists began promoting for renewed investigation into UFOs. NASA scientist Ravi Koparapu and astrobiologist Jacob Hak Misra argued for a scientific reassessment of unexplained aerial phenomena. 
Their call to action emphasized the importance of a rigorous, data-driven approach. The establishment of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force and NASA's Independent Study Program in 2022 signaled a commitment to understanding these mysteries from a scientific perspective. The 2021 DNI report and ongoing discoveries. The 2021 report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, DNI, provided a comprehensive assessment of UFO sightings from 2004 to 2021. Categorizing these phenomena into five groups, the report highlighted the complexity and diversity of sightings. The need for continued investigation and funding was clear, as many incidents remained unexplained. Congress confirms validating the SEAL's encounter. On May 17, 2022, a decade after the SEAL's strange experience, the U.S. Congress validated the authenticity of the video footage capturing the event. Our service members have encountered unidentified aerial phenomena, and because UAPs pose potential flight safety and general security risk, we are committed to a focused effort to determine their origin. This official acceptance ignited renewed interest in debate, lifting the veil of suspicion that had long surrounded such encounters. The validation not only initiated questions about extraterrestrial visitation, but also emphasized the necessity for ongoing inquiry. Could these advanced technologies be the work of otherworldly beings, or do they represent unknown terrestrial innovations? The search for answers continued, with implications that could reshape our understanding of the universe. Whistleblower claims and public skepticism. In 2023, former intelligence official David Grush made headlines with claims of the U.S. government possessing intact and partially intact vehicles of non-human origin. While his allegations ignited excitement, they also invited skepticism. Experts like Joshua Semeter pointed out the need for tangible evidence to support such claims. The balance between sensationalism and scientific inquiry remains a delicate one. The unending quest for answers. The enduring intrigue surrounding UFOs reflects humanity's inherent curiosity and desire to explore the unknown. From the extensive records of Project Blue Book to contemporary scientific endeavors, the quest to understand these phenomena continues to evolve. While many questions remain unanswered, the pursuit itself drives innovation and fosters a spirit of discovery. What about you? Do you believe that the U.S. government is hiding evidence of extraterrestrial life? Are these sightings simply misidentified natural phenomena? Or is there something more profound that remains undisclosed? Do you think the recent whistleblower claims hold any truth? Or are they just adding to the mythos surrounding UFOs? As we look to the skies, the mystery of UFOs invites us all to ponder, what are we truly witnessing and what secrets might still be hidden? The universe still holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered. What do you think is the truth? <laughs>